define what language our robot speaks. Uh, our robot speaks uh, Python. Uh, good morning, everyone. My name is Brian Samora. I'm a future computer scientist. STEM is a field that is very highly paid and is growing exponentially. Unfortunately, in the LUSD, 78% of our students are low income. However, that could be changed if we expose these students to STEM fields. For example, the Stanford University, they have an introductory computer science course as a mandatory graduation requirement. And this is because they believe that computer science is one of these fields that we need in the future because it helps with the critical thinking skills and other things. If we use Stanford's example and we trace it in the area of Z, we could be able to help make, make this number change. And instead of having 78% of low-income students, we could have like five or even less. And this could even, even be possible because we have many organizations such as TILS and code.org that want to provide their resources, their mentors, and everything that they have because they, they also believe that it needs to be changed. And now I will introduce my colleague, Leonard Lara, to tell his story about how TILS impacted his life. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I um, hope everybody's doing fine. So, <laughs> I'm Leonard Lara Cruz, um, and I come from Thomas Jefferson High School down in South Central. Um, the big impact that he was, um, well, showed me was that um, I was about to drop out of school because some um, economy issues, you know, house. So um, until I met Mr. Manzancara, um, I met this incredible computer science course, which I loved, and now I will pursue in college, and we'll be the first ones to go there in my family. Um, I realize that it's really important to keep going to school and never give up. Thank you very much. We also have an after-school after program uh, with the 10 AK Education, where we design, build, and modify cars and take it for racing. And uh, here, uh, Miguel will talk more about it. Hello, good afternoon everybody. My name is Miguel Romero Cruz from Thomas Jefferson High School. I would like to say that when I was first introduced into uh, 1080, the 1080 program, uh, I was met not as a public speaker. I was met as an engineer. I was met as a graphic designer. I was met as an individual. And I, I would like to say that here at 1080, we are at Jefferson. We are a diverse set of people who are engaged in uh, this National STEM League where we compete with, along with several other schools. And this, as such, this requires many of us to adopt several skills that we need. And we are, our people are adorned with titles such as team manager, speaker, we are also graphic designers, and as well as technicians, engineers. And also, um, when we, every time we compete, we have to um, in, take part in these roles. Some of us, um, since our team may not be very large, we adopt many of these. Um, we adopt many of these roles, so that makes uh, just mostly as a result of our team being so small, we adopt several roles. <laughs> and I would just like to say that every time we go out in the field and compete, racing, we show uh, we like to demonstrate leadership among our, our peers. And uh, I would just like to say one last thing. Uh, thank you for all the support in LASD. Thank you for making this program possible. And uh, one last thing I'd like to add is that every time we win a trophy, uh, much like this one, I'd like to take it as a sim uh, symbol of our commitment. Hello, everybody. Nice to meet you all today. It's a privilege to be in front of you. I am Benjamin Cornejo, and I am the team captain of our 1080 team at Jefferson High School. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But not only am I the captain, I am also the senior class vice president. So, you can ask, how can you have two positions at once? <laughs> well, it's a lot like you have to be out there. And I took that chance, and I won both positions. The story of my life. 
However, like my bo um, like my friend was saying, 1080 is a competitive league, and as you can see, we've been winning trophies. But what are these trophies for? And like, how do they help us in the long run? These trophies symbolize much more than just a piece of metal that says first place. It shows the hard work that we've been putting in, how much work that STEM can bring us. It shows the rewards that come along with this beautiful program that is 1080. 1080 not only teaches us, teaches us about engineering, it encapsulates everything that we've been discussing thus far. It's been talking about art with our graphic design team. It's been talking about computer science when we, com when we compute our rovers and everything. 1080 is something much more than just a racing challenge. 1080 is something universal, something we should all learn, something we should all look forward to. It may be about cars, but it goes more than this. It shows us that when life gets tough, you just have to get tougher. Now this year and last year, we've been privileged to be invited to the National League. And usually these leagues are outside of the state. Unfortunately, last year, it was in New York and we just couldn't come up with the funding. It was on such short notice that it was just impossible at that point. However, with much more time, we are here asking for support because we, <laughs> yes, because we are here, we have this honor to represent LAUSD. We have an honor to represent our community. We have an honor to represent our school. However, this dream will not be said unless we have a little bit more support. And I'd like to take this time to actually thank a few people that have supported us. You know, in the way they always encourage us to push on. I'd like to thank our teacher, Sunil Medilinkara. I'd like to thank the 1080 group, the National League. And I'd like to thank Jefferson for all their support. But it's not, it, like the saying goes, it takes two to tango. <laughs> so, we ask you for any support is, um, any kind of support would be very um, thankful, uh, very great, um, grateful. And we thank you for your time today. Have a blessed night.